Hello everyone and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Thank you for joining me today. We're about to enter into uh, Mysteries of Salt. We're on the Zhongli story quest and uh, yeah, we're learning all about the history of some of the Archons here. And the God of Salt is one we're sort of on the trail of at the moment. So let's do this. Uh, we have a domain to do. Uh, sure, we need Geo. Well, I do have Noel in the party. Uh, I don't really have any other Geo characters worth using. But I will just swap out Fischl because she's not built for battle. And I'll just use a regular team to start with. Let's say uh, current party is lower than needed. Uh, that could be interesting. This is a particularly challenging one. Oh, we do have uh, Zhang Li. Oh, lovely. Get to use. Oh, look at these. Examine statues. Bizarre looking statues that appear to be made of salt. Oh, they don't look happy, do they? Well, what's going on with this one? Uh, are these oh. statues? No. These are people. Yeah. Duh. They were probably followers of the God of Salt. How did they become this way? What in the world is hidden deep in this ruin? I guess we're going to find out. Right, let's try out Zhongli here. I must leave no stone unturned. You get double shields. If I was to use uh, Zhongli's shield and Noelle's, I don't know how that works. Using them together. Another one there. Oh, it. oh, you can go up there. What What was the... Uh, I thought it was somewhere up there we wanted to go. I guess we need to go around. Yeah, these people don't look happy at all. Let me just make sure there's no uh, chests or anything. We don't want to miss anything while we're around here. Okay. Uh, you're not going to climb up there? No? Solidify. Can I climb this? Oh, okay. Maybe that's what we're going to do. Oh, I didn't really explain that very well, did I? I forgot to do it again. Gather. Okay, weird. <sighs> All right, well, we got there anyway. Look at this. It's filled halfway with salt. Uh, it just looks like a fancy salt holder. Seems like the god of salt was a god lacking in treasures. According to my knowledge, it's no ordinary vessel. Although it is only half full, it is also forever half full. That is to say, it is bottomless. What? You're saying that even if I pour the salt out, the amount inside won't change? Exactly. Able to produce endless salt. The god of salt is powerful indeed. Finally. After all that effort, I've found precious treasure! I claim this is mine! I just need to pour the endless salt into a thousand or ten thousand bags. I can sell it and make a fortune! Hey! How can you use a relic of the God of Salt for such a shallow pursuit? If Mr. Clement wants this salt chalice, then the next object we find will belong to Miss Wanyan, according to the contract agreed upon. Of course, as we agreed. <laughs> but how can anything be worth more than this rare find? Yeah, I bet there could be something more of that. Since we have a contract, uh, it's no use for me to fight with him. Then let's move on, shall we? Oh, what's this one? He is transfixed in earnest posture, though perhaps he was also afraid. Oh, look at the salt just like bursting out of the back. That looks like a nasty way to go. And that's also the same. Oh man. Interesting. These are about to get done. Fire hazard! Yeah, it must be. I don't actually know what this pillar does, but uh, I'll use it. 
Sure, it does something good. Where do we want to go, actually? Over this way. I could probably read up a lot of the skills, I, I guess, and f figure out what they do. Oh, that's where we just came from. Where am I going? This way. Oh, okay, this like this is where we need to use uh, geo constructs. Stand there. Stand here. There we go. Okay, what is this treasure? Bet it's going to be better. Huh, just a simple ruler. It doesn't look to be worth anything. This, if I remember correctly, this is some kind of measuring tool. Indeed. But the god of salt imbued it with another power. <clears throat> when you stick this ruler in the ground, the surrounding area will become covered in salt, much like a rising tide covers the earth. The deeper it is stuck in the ground, the more salt will appear. It is essentially a bumper harvest of salt. What? That, that's even better than the salt chalice! Well then, according to our contract, the salt ruler goes to Miss Wanyan. No! Unacceptable! I paid for and organized this entire expedition! Why should I get the short end of the stick? And this girl has been useless! Why would she get anything? Oh boy! Here we go again! <sighs> so, while we're on the topic of useless people... So you are saying you want to break the contract? So what if I break it? Now that I've seen how the mechanisms in this ruin work, I no longer need you! Let's not forget who hired who here! Why should I let you make the rules? Because you agreed to a contract. Rex Lapis once said, Ones who break their contracts shall suffer the wrath of the rock. That is one of your Liyue gods. I am from Snezhnaya. I will suffer the wrath of the rock. You may find it rather unpleasant. Okay, are we take us. Solidify. Order guide you. Let's light it up. Oh, look at the Missy. He got. I don't know what happened to him there. I'll take it though. Gotcha. Time for a light show. Can't see where he is. Where is he? No. Busted. Should I get him? These guys are so annoying. Everybody stand back. Here comes the catch. A little bit overkill there, but never mind. I shall confiscate your treasure as well. You are not worthy to continue any further into the ruin. Leave this place. Oh, darn you! Just you wait! <laughs> Some archaeological survey? He could only pretend for so long. Well, at least we had our guard up. I hope you never become as greedy as him, Paimon. Hey! Paimon <laughs> likes Mora, but Paimon doesn't do bad things. No. Clement's wrongdoing stemmed from greed, yes. But besides greed, there are many other things that may tempt us to break contracts. When people see the object of their dreams, how many are really able to control their desire and follow the contract? I think we should be honest with each other now. Huh? Be honest about what? That in truth, not a single member of this archaeological expedition came here for archaeology. Why do you say that? Oh, what's she hiding? Miss, you lack even the most basic archaeological knowledge, and can recognize naught but a few simple relics. However, you are an expert when it comes to anything regarding the God of Salt. You aren't interested in archaeology or relics. What you're really interested in is the God of Salt. I believe those legends about the God of Salt that you mentioned on the Pearl Galley are passed down between generations at Yinyuan Hall. Okay, that's enough. Sir, you are indeed a man of great knowledge and talents. 
I seem to have been right to seek you out once I plucked up my courage. You're right. I'm not a scholar of archaeology. I come from one of the eight trades under the jurisdiction of the Qi Sing, Yin Yuan Hall of the Salt Industry. Our ancestors were those protected by the God of Salt all those years ago, when the Archon War engulfed the land in chaos. Come to think of it, I've never heard you say Rex Lapis. Hmm. Yeah, she's always called him Morax, right? Oh, right! Now that you mention it, the people of Leo very seldom use the name Morax. During the war, Morax assassinated our god out of envy for her power. He left us alone and lost in the world. We... we hate him! But this is Morax's Liyue after all. And its history is written as he wishes. So I seek proof of Morax's guilt. He has blood on his hands and cruelty in his heart! Uh, oh dear. We agreed to a contract that we will face the truth head on, didn't we, Mr. Zhongli? You must judge this history fairly. Naturally, of course. But I must add, Liu is no longer Morax's Liu. Come with me. All the answers you seek lie ahead. Okay, let's uh, keep diving a bit deeper. What uh, what is the history of uh, Zhang Li and uh, this god of salt? Interesting to find out. Uh, I guess then are we gonna are we just stand on here? Okay, yeah, no, we need uh, we need Zhang Li's uh, construct. Stabilize. We'll jump up here, glide across. Thank you. Right, can we just hit the stuff? No. How do we do? Okay, what I can do then is I can go that one, uh, that one. How can I do this one? Oh, he's very quick to uh, to uh, to recharge actually. She got both constructs up there. Quake! Let's light it up! Oh yeah, so I guess I wonder if it's doing anything to these things, because oh careful. Uh, I can't deal with those. What I really would like to do is shoot this guy off the top of that. It's not working. Okay, fine. Uh, right, let's go. I can destroy these with the claymore. A lot much easier. Let's just do that for now. Okay, and I'm thinking. Solidify. Okay. will have order. Oh, we didn't get the cutscene. Come on. Got that animation. I like that one. We go. Time for a light show. Oh, that's not going to be good. Let's take out the little guys if we can. Okay, let's just get this. Quietly now. Game's up. Thumbs over. Crumble. This is order. Oh, look at that damage. Lovely. Very nice. Right, what have we got here? Blade? Broken blade? This is... a sword? Aha! Uh -huh. It's a broken sword! This is proof! This proves that the God of Salt had to fight back! Fight back against the evil Morax! But sadly, she was defeated. So how does, how does that prove that? Explain yourself. The power of this sword surely is much greater than that of the Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler. If we can repair the sword, then we can show the world the mighty power of the God of Salt! Hmm... It does look like something left behind after being defeated in battle. Two pieces of a broken sword. From an archaeological perspective, these are two separate relics. According to the contract, you can only claim one. But why We were alternating claims to treasure, true. But Clement is no longer here. Yes. 
But the only one object per claim clause still holds true. You cannot take two relics at the same time. <laughs> this logic! <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Um, it's a bit strange. Zhang Li, <laughs> she seems like a good person. And no one is fighting over the treasure. How about you let this one slide, huh? When there's a contract, nothing can be allowed to slide. If the contract is not followed, then it is broken. No! If I only take one half, then it can't be repaired, and the power of the God of Salt cannot be restored. No matter what, I must be faithful to her. Even if it breaks the contract, I don't care. You just see what happens when someone breaks his contract. You want to do that? So you are already decided? Hmm. Then there is a price to pay for breaking the contract. Shang Li! That is to say, you consign yourself to suffer the wrath of the rock. That... that's okay. The God of Salt gave up her life to protect her people. My sacrifice is nothing compared to that. But what's that going to achieve? <laughs> I don't understand these people sometimes. Punish me however you want. Just let me take this proof of my faith. No, you can't hit her. Perhaps that punishment would be easier for her. But as punishment, I will tell you the truth. Huh? The truth? You mean the truth is my punishment? Yes. The truth that I am about to tell you shall be your price to pay for breaking the contract. I am afraid to say that the God of Salt, Havria, was not the powerful god you imagine her to be. Rather, she was a small and weak god who yielded to all other gods. When it came to war, she lost, never able to win a seat among the Seven. What? During the Archon War, the gods of this world used all their strength and cunning to vie for control of Tevat. But Havria instead chose to flee. She thought that by giving up before a fight could start, she could save herself and her people from the war. However, during such a long war, there is no end to the advances of aggressors. After making countless concessions, Avria lost all of her lands, until only one small haven remained. No. No! It can't be so! In her last days, she had not even a single blade to defend her people with. Not even a single blade? Then... this sword... This sword is not a relic belonging to the God of Salt, but is instead the murder weapon used to kill her. Murder weapon? No! That's not true! That can't be true! You're trying to test my faith in the God of Salt! As I said before, I only state the facts. Preposterous! You, you are a follower of Morax! Don't try to trick me! Yeah, she didn't like that. Uh, this was too much for her to take. What you said is uh, really is true, right? Indeed. Otherwise, why would I use the truth as punishment? I did not want to tell her such cruel facts. But the contract was broken. Let's follow her deeper into the ruin. There, I fear, we will find something that will leave her no choice but to face the truth. <coughs> Okay. Uh, right, let's just uh, check around here. Not going to miss anything. I will take a carrot, an apple, and I saw some uh, fowl over here. We'll take that as well. Uh, right, where are we going? Any further into the ruin, which was the direction we just came from that way, didn't we? So, this way. Uh, are these statue thingies running? They were. What will we find ahead? Salt. And betrayal. Seems to have been fleeing from something, no doubt suspecting that something terrible was afoot. 
Oh, I mean, could you imagine seeing something like that? People running. God, it kind of reminds me of like the um, the the Pompeii people in the uh, uh, the volcanic. Oh, she doesn't like the look of this, does she? What are all these? What did they see? What did they do? What... what happened? Since you do not trust me, let us continue onward. That which lies beyond this door will show you all that happened back then. Oh, what are we going to see? Okay, something happened right here. What's it just, what did it say about... Uh... Okay, well, okay. Uh, examine. Uh, ground zero. No matter what was once here, naught remains but a single flower of salt. This is the scene of the crime. Havria's body dissipated leaving nothing but these traces of salt. Her dying moments have since been frozen in time to this very day. <sighs> the story continues that some among her people realized at last that this gentle, kind, but weak god could never protect anyone in wartime. The Archon War was cruel in the extreme. Instead of consigning her to the agony of defeat, they thought perhaps it would be better to give her a quick release. Is this the guy? He looks like he's in the. He's stabbing, isn't he? He's holding, he should have been holding the sword here. So he killed the god, this one? But. What about these statue thingies? No matter how weak the god, the power that flows forth when they are slain is beyond the strength of mortal coils to bear. Those who could not flee were thus transformed. Those of her people who were untouched by this disaster left for Lyra, where they sought refuge with Rex Lapis. Their descendants feared Havria's remnants and lived in terror that she had laid upon them an eternal curse. So they risked their lives to come here, to break the sword and offer up obeisances in hopes that her anger might be appeased. But they need not have done so. For how could a god who had never once resisted, even till the end, nurse hatred for her people in her heart? Uh, I... Even if this is so, I can't! This must be a lie. A false history, all of it! Don't you dare try to shake my faith! Yikes! Xiang Li didn't show any mercy this time either. Sometimes when you show people the truth, uh, if it, even even if you give them undeniable proof, if it goes against what they believe, they sometimes just won't accept it. This is the price she must pay. Yet I would not call it a bad thing. Judging by how she appeared, I fear that she will struggle for a time. But even if she may not escape that struggle immediately, simply recognizing the truth is good enough for now. You seem all too familiar with what happened to the God of Salt. You didn't just hear rumors about the way to break the seal, did you? No, indeed. How sharp of you. Yet this is not a matter of wisdom. Only age. Faith in a God who has already passed will do you no good. So it is for Havria. And so it is for Morax also. People of the UA will understand that one day. All right then. Now, would you like to accompany me in taking a trip to Guyan Stone Forest? Huh? What do you want to do, Zhongli? <sighs> Treading old ground. Telling old stories. One cannot help but be reminded of old acquaintances. 
Uh, crest goals in the way. Head there to continue. We will do as soon as we just uh, dive into this precious chest. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, I think that is that is all we have in this one here. Is there anything just up on this table interesting to look at? No? Okay, let's go. Okay, so we need to go and find Zhongli around here somewhere. I guess we might have to deal with these uh, first. <laughs> yeah, we will. Oh, come on. Why do they never miss? Well, let's give you a shield. I might help. Down. This guy's going to be a bit more of a problem. There's that shield. And where is he going? There he is. Oh, okay. Let's. Uh, there we go. Come on, take it down. There we go. Oh, someone else around. Who's that? Oh, another shooter over there. Let's grab all this stuff. No, you don't. Okay, Zhongli, where are you? You're around here somewhere, up higher. Is he up in this hut? No, just a little guy. <laughs> Sorry to wake you. And to kill you. Where is he? Up higher. Oh, he's way up there. Oh, seriously? I've got to climb all the way up there? <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll get started. There's no easy way up there, is there? Oh dear, this better be worth it, Zhongli. This is taking forever. Now, I mentioned before that many gods of old have been sealed beneath the Guyan Stone Forest. The Adepti have presently handed Liyue over to mortals, and Havria's time was even further in the past. The salt chalice and salt ruler that she left behind should not return to Leo. To leave them here is to let them slumber. And it is also a homecoming. So what would you like us to do? I ended an error with my own two hands. I have always wondered how I should remember that which I ended. History records, but history may be changed. This incident proved that. Time is a mighty force, and histories twist in its flow. I need to find a better way of recording history in order to engrave its truth. Stone carvings were one such ancient method, but unchanging stone, immovable earth, even one such as myself. Someday we may all disappear. Zhongli... Therefore, I thought of you, Traveler. You are one who crosses the Celestial Atlas, and who passes through countless worlds. If our history is engraved in your memory, it will one day accompany you into another world. As long as a traveler like you is able to record what happened, then a backup of sorts will exist for times and tides of Tevat. So that's why he wants us to come with you. So, you didn't just bring me along to find treasure. <laughs> well, may you find treasure among the stars, even after you have left Tevat. Now, I am the god of wealth, so I would think that my words have some weight here. Now then, it is time that we consigned both the salt chalice and salt ruler to the sea. Well, I'll make it really salty. As I said before, this is the place to which the remnants of many bygone gods are consigned. This includes Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who the Jade Chamber most recently returned to this ocean prison. Thousands of years ago, the Adepti and I fought against the turmoil that plagued every corner of this land. <gasps> Guyan Stone Forest, where I sealed many gods with my spears. After so long, naught but folk tales remain. Oh, Sile, you and I were foes. But our ancient grudge is but a bygone memory now.
May that which Havria has left behind be yours to subsume. <sighs> and thus another spark of divinity departs from Liyue. My legacy shall now be left to those who come after to debate. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, I wonder what would happen if you used to throw something that could produce an endless amount of salt into the ocean. I have a feeling that would make a rather terrible impact on the ecosystem, but let's not worry about that right now anyway that is a good place to end it here i think we will be uh doing part number two in the next episode um i guess that's what we <laughs> want to do actually story quest let's just double check there yeah so we can now unlock oh i do have a key yeah i will unlock it and i will accept the quest and um yeah we will do that in the next uh, in the next video. So thank you for watching today. We found out a little bit more about Zhongli. Always a pleasure to spend some time with Zhongli and we shall do so in the next one. So I will see you then. Try and look at the camera. Look at the camera, Yomiya. <laughs> Goodbye for now.